In every sport there are legends, but then there are those stories that go beyond the game itself. Stories so rare they become a part of something that lasts in history forever. And today we're lucky enough to be living in one of those stories. All thanks to one man, you already know who we're talking about. The man who just made history again by pulling off baseball's first ever 50-50 season. Yeah, you heard that right. 50 homers, 50 stolen bases. If you haven't already guessed, that man is Shohei Otani, the best baseball player to ever walk the earth. Yeah, we said it, and we stand by it. Shohei Otani is the best baseball player in the history of the sport, and you don't have to be a Dodgers fan, heck, you don't even have to like baseball to see it. Right out of Japan, everyone knew Otani was going to be something special. For starters, that much hype for a Japanese player was insane. That alone had people buzzing. Otani was the talk of the town, the hottest thing in baseball. From a young boy practicing in the fields of Japan to the biggest stage in baseball, Shohei's journey wasn't without its challenges. Now, we're not going to dive into his entire journey to the MLB, because we've already got a video covering all that on our channel. Trust me, you want to check that out when you're done here. What we really want to focus on is the absolute whirlwind Otani has stirred up since stepping onto the big stage, and that storm started the moment he got here. As soon as the Angels signed him, Otani knocked Ronald Acuna Jr. off the top spot and became the number one prospect in all of baseball. And yeah, it was for all the right reasons. Shohei Otani wasn't just a pitcher. He's not just a hitter, he's a dual threat. The kind of athlete the world hasn't seen in over 100 years. And in just six years in the league, he hasn't just lived up to the hype. He's completely shattered it, rewriting the history books every step of the way. In 2019, Shohei's much anticipated return to the Angels lineup came after undergoing Tommy John's surgery. And while there were some bright spots, like becoming the first Japanese-born player to hit for the cycle, the season wasn't smooth. Injuries plagued his year again. After battling injuries and doubt, Shohei faced the biggest challenge of his career in 2020. His body had failed him before, but his spirit never did. The 2020 season wasn't great either. Shohei didn't even get out in his first start, giving up five runs, and after just two games, he was shut down from pitching with a right elbow strain. His hitting wasn't much better either, as he struggled through the season, finishing with a disappointing 190 average and only seven home runs in 43 games. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Otani didn't hold back when he called the season pathetic and admitted he felt frustrated and useless. Naturally, it didn't take long for the critics to start running their mouths. People started questioning whether Otani could ever be the dual threat superstar he was hyped up to be, and the shit talking only got louder. But then, in true Otani fashion, he asked his haters to shut up quite literally, because the very next season, he came back stronger than ever, put up big MVP numbers, and won the damn thing all thanks to his incredible performance as a two-way player. Beyond that, he also became the first player ever, I mean in baseball history, to be selected as both a pitcher and a designated hitter for the All-Star Game. And if that wasn't enough, he shattered Hideki Matsui's record for most home runs by a Japanese-born player, smashing 46 homers in a single season. From then on, Otani has been a baseball fantasy in real time. Over the next two years, Otani didn't just keep up the pace, he redefined what greatness means in baseball. He became the first player ever to smash 30 plus home runs and rack up 10 plus wins as a pitcher in the same season. No one in history of baseball has ever done that. Otani was literally breaking the mold, showing the world that the impossible was just another day at the office for him. And just when you thought he couldn't possibly top that, no way. Well, 2023 rolled around and Otani hit 40 plus home runs and swiped 20 plus bases in back to back seasons. This wasn't just about power or pitching anymore. He was adding elite speed to his game. By the end of 2023, it was raining accolades. For the third straight year, his teammates crowned him the Angels Player of the Year. He took home his second AP Athlete of the Year award, joining only 11 male athletes in history to win it multiple times. Add his second Baseball American League Player of the Year and Player's Choice American League Outstanding Player Award to the list, and Otani was out of this world. But even after all that, 2024 was the year nobody could have seen coming. For starters, his contract with the Angels expired, which meant Otani hit the free agent market and the bidding war was wild. Practically everyone wanted to land the most valuable player in the history of the sport, but the Dodgers did a big one and offered Otani a mind-blowing $700 million contract. I know it's been months, but it's as unreal as the first time the news dropped. 
With that single signature, he became the highest paid player ever, blowing past anything we've ever seen in baseball, or any sport for that matter, but honestly, it's nothing compared to the insane season he has had so far. We're talking jaw-dropping, record-breaking, history-making. Shohei Otani has officially joined one of the most exclusive clubs in baseball, the 4040 Club. Now, only a handful of players have ever accomplished this feat. But what set Otani apart was that he reached this milestone in just 129 games, the fastest in MLB history. But Otani wasn't done yet. Less than a month later, at Lone Depot Park in Miami, he blasted his 50th home run of the season. A jaw-dropping rocket into left field that sent the opposing crowd into an absolute frenzy. With that historic blast, he became the first player to ever hit 50 home runs and steal 50 bases in a single season. Up until that moment, we didn't even know that was possible. So to really fully appreciate what Shohei Otani has pulled off in 2024, you've got to realize he could have hung up his spikes after hitting 43 home runs and stealing 43 bases. Because even then, he'd still be a record setter. But true to his relentless spirit, Otani didn't stop there. He went for the gold and smashed through the 50 homer and stole in 50 base mark. And with that, Otani blasted past Sean Green's outstanding Dodgers record of 49 home runs. That's right, Shohei now holds the title for the most home runs in a single season for the Dodgers thanks to the showstopper he pulled off during the September 19th game. Which is technically the best game in baseball history. In that electrifying game, Otani went on a jaw-dropping 6 for 6 launching three homers, ripping two doubles, stealing two bases, scoring four runs, and driving in 10. Let me say that again, folks. Driving in 10, I'm not sure you get just how insane that is. So let me break it down. Otani's 10 RBIs is the highest since that stat became official in 1920. 1920! His five extra base hits tied for the most in baseball since 1901, and on the same day, Otani became the first player with up to 50 home runs and 50 steals in a season. Look, to get six hits in a game is insane. To have six hits and three home runs is absolutely nuts. The two stolen bases on top of it, and then the 10 RBI, and then you hit the two benchmarks of 50 and 50, that's crazy. His mind-blowing performance led to the Dodgers to a staggering 20-4 victory and clinched a playoff berth for Los Angeles. Surprisingly, this was the first time in Otani's career that he's headed to the postseason. And if there's one thing you can't deny, even if you're not a fan of the Japanese unicorn, which would be nuts, by the way, is that Shohei Otani's 2024 season is the best baseball has ever seen, and when stagged against the legends of the game, it becomes even more jaw-dropping. Take Babe Ruth's iconic 1920 season. For instance, the Sultan of Swat hit 54 home runs and posted an insane 847 slugging percentage. Ruth redefined how the game was played, but he never came close to the kind of dual threat magic Otani is cooking up this year. And even when you compare him to Honus Wagner, who dominated the league in 1908 and in almost every offensive category, it wouldn't be any different. To give you guys some context, imagine if Wagner had not only led in on base percentage and slugging, but also 50 stolen bases while cranking out 50 home runs. It sounds like a fantasy, right? Well, it's reality for Otani. Barry Bonds set a high bar in 2001 with his record 73 homers and a staggering 863 slugging percentage. But even the most feared hitter in baseball history didn't put together the all-around brilliance Otani is displaying. Bonds wasn't stealing bases or performing on the mound, two feats Otani has mastered over his six seasons in the league. Even Ronald Acuna Jr., the reigning NL MVP, who last season made headlines with his 41 homers and 73 stolen bases, entering the exclusive 4070 club doesn't come close in the slightest. While Acuna's phenomenal, he's still at least 10 homers shy of Otani's total, and with the season winding down, Otani could easily up that number before September 29th. But beyond that, Otani's overall impact makes this the greatest offensive season in baseball history. So far, he's leading the National League in runs and RBIs while still being a force on the base paths. It's really hard to fathom how one player can dominate so thoroughly. Historically, we haven't seen this kind of all-around performance since the early 1900s when Babe Ruth was redefining the game. Even with Ruth's legendary status, he never combined elite power and speed in the same way Otani has. And let's not forget, this is Otani's first season as a designated hitter with the Dodgers. Yet, he's on track to become the first DH in MLB history to snag an MVP award. 
This potentially third MVP trophy would put him in rare company, joining Frank Robinson as one of only two players to win MVPs in both the American and National Leagues. Look, I don't know about you, but to me, it seems like Shohei Otani has single-handedly made it his job to create a new definition of what it means to be great in this sport. And we are here for every part of it, but we still like to hear from you guys. So just how insane has Shohei Otani really been? What do you think is next for Shohei? Share your thoughts below and join the conversation about one of the greatest stories in sports history.